I'm absolutely certain my wife believes me when I leave in the morning and tell her I love her. But to tell you the truth, sometimes it feels like words are coming from another person's mouth. Sometimes it feels like I am watching an unrealistically optimistic TV show and hearing the happy-go-lucky husband say his unrealistically cheery farewell. To put it mildly, I was lucky to find her. I was 19 and the least dateable freshman in the college. The one who never went to parties or made much of an impression on anyone. She was the opposite. Beautiful. Popular. Everyone loved her. A good friend of mine found out I had a crush on her and told her. I remember feeling so humiliated standing before her when he blurted out that I had a crush on her. I couldn't look her in the eyes because I was sure she was going to laugh at me. But she didn't. She took me very seriously and even told me she thought I was kind of cute. Somehow, we started a conversation. I think it was about our classes or something. But it didn't matter. The ice was broken, and pretty soon we started dating. Everything was perfect for the most part. We each had our individual quirks, but we really enjoyed each other's company. When I told people that most of the time we just sat around and followed recipes from cooking programs we saw on TV, nobody believed me. But it was true. We didn't do much of what you would call exciting, but like I said, we enjoyed each other's company. Somehow, we both graduated college. I got a job in a small computer startup, and she started working as a freelance artist. For a long time, we lived together, and people told me that I should think about getting married. But I didn't want to mess things up. My parents had divorced, and it was quite a mess, so I was putting it off as long as I could. Plus, we were happy following our recipes for three bean chili, and she didn't seem to mind, so I didn't worry about it. We had been living together for three years when my company just up and evaporated. Like a lot of computer startups, we were overly optimistic, and then reality had set in. My joblessness wasn't too much of a worry. We were both making a lot of money, so even though I was unemployed, we could still live comfortably. I decided for my next job I would look for something a little more secure, be a little more serious. So I found a job at a stuffy old computer firm with a president who looked like a cross-dressing mortician and asked my girlfriend to marry me. It was time to start getting serious. That was four years ago, and we're married now. And I hate to say it, but I'm not sure I love her anymore. Now I know what you're thinking. I must be really selfish. I have a beautiful wife who loves me, a good job I don't deserve, and all the while I'm worried that I feel like a phony sometimes because I'm not sure I love her. We still go out to eat and play games together and I still make what she calls the most perfect plate of ordinary spaghetti on the planet. I guess the problem is that deep down I am a nobody, a complete void of personality, and somehow she has lived with me for 10 years without figuring it out. It's a Friday, and like always, we're going to go out to dinner after work. She seems to enjoy it, and I want to make her happy. I stare at the menu, even though I know I'm ordering spaghetti, and we make some small talk. I don't pay too much attention. I just let my little sitcom life play itself out. The meal comes, I pay the check, we eat our mince. We drive home together. And then suddenly, out of the blue, she asks me, Do you love me? Usually I would tell her, of course I did, and I'd be all unrealistically optimistic and cheerful about it. But for some weird reason I tell her that I don't know. And just like that, the sitcom facade fades and silence fills the air. Minutes pass like hours until finally we arrive home. We park in our spot and say nothing for a few minutes and just stare out at the fake pond that surrounds our apartment complex. Next week I tell her, I'm going to finish my project. She acts like the cheerful sitcom wife and congratulates me. Then she tells me she loves me. I look at her, but I'm not sure she is looking back at me anymore. I only see June Cleaver in her place. <laughs>